Hey guys, Mike here at Mr. Trolls, and welcome back to a new video. All right, well, today we're going to do a very basic rigging video, and we're going to talk about one method of rigging that is probably the most basic, and it's called parenting. Okay, now to demonstrate that, I just uh, created this simple model that's supposed to look like an arm, obviously. Okay, it has three components it has the upper arm, the lower arm, and the hand all right now with these three objects created if i want to move them so i select the hand and i hit e to rotate you can see that you know the rest of the arm is not doing anything all right control z to go back the same deal here and obviously the same deal up there all right so the most basic method of rigging is parenting now parenting allows you to kind of link one object to the other where one object follows the other one and the one is called the child and the other is the parent so the child is following the parent if you will all right so if we move the lower arm the hand would typically move as well makes sense right so the hand will become a child of the lower arm so what we're going to do is we're going to select the hand we're going to shift select the lower arm and we're going to hit P on our keyboard. Okay. So when you do that, that gives you the following option. If I just select the hand, all right, I can move that. Still no fix there, as you can see. Control Z. However, when I now connect or click on the lower arm, you can see that the hand is selected as well. So when I move the lower arm, the hand is following. All right. And that's kind of the point that we were going for. All right. So, the hand is child to the lower arm. The lower arm is child to the upper arm. So, we're going to select our lower arm. We're going to shift select our upper arm. And we're going to hit P on our keyboard. So, now, if we take the upper arm and we move, we move everything. Okay. Just hit Control Z to go back. If we select the lower arm, this will move. And if we select just a hand, that will move. Okay. Control Z just to straighten that all out. And if we check this in our outliner and go to window, outliner, you now see that you have a group called upper arm. One layer below that, we have the lower arm. And one layer below that, you have the hand. Okay. But this still doesn't give the movements that we're looking for because we want to kind of have the arm hinge here and the hand hinge there. Okay. So what we're going to do next is we are going to move to the side view. I have to zoom in and we're going to select the individual components and we're going to move the pivot point to the area where we believe it should pivot. Okay. So on our hand, it's in the center of this object. I'm going to hold down the D key. On my, first, I'm going to hit W, hold down the D key on my keyboard, and I'm going to move my pivot point to the center of that sphere because that's the center of my hand. Check it from the top view. Do the same thing and bring that down. Okay. So that pivot point is now set up correctly. All right. Then we're going to take a lower arm and we're going to move the pivot point of that one. So what we're going to do is we're going to hold down the D key, move our pivot point to the center right there. We'll just check it from our top view once again, just to make sure that it's sitting right. So hold down D and there we go. And now one more, we're going to select our upper arm we're going to go to this view once again. We're going to hold down the D key, move our pivot point, and check it from the top. Hit F to zoom in. And that looks to be OK. All right. So now we have the lower or the hand as a child to the lower arm, the lower arm and hand as a child to the upper arm. 
and we have a pivot point on the hand right there, on this point right there, and on the upper arm. So let's see what we got. We're going to select our upper arm. If we now hit E, it should pivot around the top big sphere, and it does. So that's good. Control Z, Control Z to go back. Now we're just going to select the lower arm, which contains the hand, obviously. And let's see if it now moves correctly. And it does because we set the pivot point to the right location. All right, we're going to go back. And if we decide to just select the hand and we want to move that, it's going to move in the way that it should. All right. So like I said, this is the most basic way of um, rigging uh, called parenting. If you want to unparent, you can select this guy, shift select that guy, and hit shift P. Okay, we'll select that, shift like that, hit shift P. If you go to window, outliner, you can see that they're no longer in a hierarchy, they're no longer in a group. And you can also do this by going up to edit and down here to unparent. And you can see the shortcut right there, shift P and P. All right. So that's it for this basic tutorial. If you have any questions, I'd be glad to help. And that said, thanks for watching and love to see you guys again.